Hello guys, this is LC Media. So today I'm going to show you on how to do a green screen zoom through transition that has some glitch effects with it. So basically you have two clips. One is the green screen one and one is the normal one. If you have no idea where to find these awesome clips that I use, make sure you check out and Veto Elements. The links are down below. It's awesome. You have hundreds of millions of elements you can't actually finish exploring. So basically, go to the effects column and find Kia, drag it onto the green screen one, and you see that the screen is black. But don't panic, it's normal. And then go to the normal clip. You can press R to select portion of it and to make it faster. So in this case, I'm not gonna just change to um, two or four times, but thousand times maybe because this is a very, very slow clip. It's in a very, very slow mode. Yeah, you can see it's so slow. So maybe I have to increase even more, but I'll leave it later. So I shortened the clip a bit to make sure the clip doesn't overrun a very long time and then drag it below the green screen clip and you see it's already there. Yeah, but then you see the scale is not right. So how do we adjust that? You just go to the second clip and go to transform, just drag down the scale and change the X and Y axis. In this case, Y axis is actually the one and just to play around with the scale. After that, remember to create a keyframe for scale and position because you see this is not the still image, it's moving. So your video has to change as well. And then if you're not sure if your video fits perfectly to the green screen, you can go back to the green screen clip and change the opacity down like this. And after that, go back to the green screen clip and then select a portion of it where you want to create the zoom transition. And in this case, I'm just gonna choose this portion and delete the end portion. Yeah, this will be my zoom portion. Yeah, to zoom through. And I'll just leave it as it is for now and go back to the start of the clip. And then I'll start adjusting the second clip because it's moving and you can see the black screen showing. So just simply press your right arrow key and just adjust your scale and position because you've already created a keyframe and remember go back to the start and adjust all the way to where you've already cut like uh, this part here yes and then select the both clips for the green screen one turn back the opacity to 100 percent yeah it's something like this and super slow, but I'm gonna change it later. And you see when it's jumping in, uh, you want to zoom in. So how do we create the zoom in effect? So you go to this clip here and then go to the left hand corner here and choose crop. You see there's this thing called cam burns. Click on it and then change the red window to fit perfectly or not. Actually, in this case, it's not really perfectly but to fit it around the size of the screen here like this and slowly adjust and you can adjust the green one as well if you don't really want it to be that uh, full, fully scaled in this case I'm just gonna leave it there and click done and you see it's zooming in it's smooth however there's a problem because the second clip isn't zooming in and since we've already created the keyframe, it's very simple. Just select the second clip, go to the end of the first clip, and then change the scale back to 100% and change the Y axis to zero. And you can see that it's already sort of done. Yeah, it's zooming in. And that's the second part done here. So for me, I think the video is way too slow. So I'm just going to create a compound clip and then press command r to show the speed and make it faster and also create a compound clip for the second clip and then for the third part i'm gonna create a, a glitch effect so how do we adjust that i just cut it out like this and go to the effects column 
fine prism drag onto the cut clip as you can see it's really very very blurry so you have to add a keyframe at the start of this cut clip and then go to the end and adjust the angle when you're done it looks like this it's very short and glitchy kind of feel which just smoothed your clip even further and for the end i really don't like this bit so i'm gonna cut it into half and then bring the first half to a faster speed and the second half to a slower speed and after that add in your sound effects and your background music and this clip is done and that's all for today's video hope you guys enjoy it and please subscribe bye bye